a function in Python. So here we are on the Sage Math cell. Let me run it in Python. So if I want to create a function, like say let's take a function that takes any number, squares it, and multiplies by 7. So the way to find a function in Python is with the command def for define. And I need to give the function a name. Let's call this, um, let's just call it my function. It can be any, any name you want, essentially. And we have to say what input we want. So the input, I'll just call the input x. You can give it any uh, particular name you want. Now we have to define what the operation is going to be. So let's say output is equal to, uh, let's see, I want to take the number x and, and square it, and then multiply it by 7. So once you do the other, whatever operations you want to do, and create an output, we have to give that output back to the user. The keyword for that is return. So for example, I can now write my function of 100. Let's print the output. I can do print my function of 10 uh, or 5. Now, now that we have a function, we can actually do all sorts of things. Like, so for example, suppose I want to take all the numbers between 1 and 20 and apply my function to them. So let's say L is equal to range uh, 21. Or say 121. And let's make that into a list. Okay, numbers from 1 to 20. And now I'm going to say, um, let's say uh, L2 is, I can do this as saying my function of, what do you want to call it, uh, T for T in L. So here we've used list comprehension using the function we define to apply it to a whole range of numbers. For our purposes, this is useful particularly for matrices. So for example, uh, let's do a, a function that, say, squares a matrix. So let's assume that um, a is square. So when, uh, let's check that a is square first of all, because you can't apply it. Yeah, I want to I return um, the matrix a times a, or rather a dot a in the notation of NumPy. But that doesn't make sense if the sizes of a don't match. So you might want to say, let's have m and n be the shape of a. And here's a quick way to check things. You can say assert m is equal to n. So now let me say, let's say, let's make a matrix, let's call it b, it doesn't matter what you call it of course, the variable a is only defined inside this command, right? This a has nothing to do with any a's I write out here. Now, what if our matrix weren't square? Let me remove a row so that its sizes don't match. So notice what happened here is I, wrote, I have this matrix which is two by three. Of course, I can't square a two by three matrix. So when I attempt to do this operation, notice what happens is that We've taken a dot shape, which is 2 comma 3, and we've checked that those numbers, so m and n would be 2 and 3 there, are equal. And um, when that fails, we get what's called an assertion error. And the assertion error is, sorry, your sizes don't match. And it tells us actually exactly in the code where that has happened. So that's a quick rundown on how to define a function with def 
and then return. And you can do any operations you want on the inside. And how to apply that either to lists or to other types of operations and also to catch error messages.